Hello friends and fellow guitar players, it's Michael Reyes, author of the ebook Guitar Odyssey. And uh, the name of this video today is Pop Goes the Theory, because we're going to be taking a look at a little bit of music theory and how it applies in the world of pop and rock songs. <clears throat> the idea is that it'll be one part theory, two parts fun, so let's get right to it. Um, one of the great things about guitar is that uh, all you need to do is a little bit of work before you're ready to start playing songs. Um, specifically, if you know the G chord, the C chord, and the D chord, G, C, and D, you are ready to play a whole lot of songs. And we're going to go over 11 of those today. Uh, maybe you're a beginner and you're ready to play some songs. You know your first three chords, congratulations, and you, you want to play those songs. Uh, maybe you are more advanced and you know someone who's a beginner and you want to bring them along and show them how fun guitar can be by playing some songs with them. And that's the whole idea behind what we're going to talk about today. Um, these are songs you can play, like I said, using only G, C, and D. And here comes the theory. These songs are known as 1, 4, 5 songs. Okay, uh, now what does that mean? Well, in the world of music theory, um, if you're playing in a certain key signature, and today all the songs we're going to be playing uh, we're written in different keys, but I'm going to be playing them all in the key of G. And when we're in the key of G, G is the one chord. There's your first note of the scale, G, and G is the one chord. Now, we're playing one, four, five songs, so what's the fourth note of a G scale? G, A, B, C, C. C is the four of the G scale. So, G is the 1, C is the 4, and then as you might guess, D is the 5. So we're playing the 1 chord, the 4 chord, and the 5 chord to play these songs. And the beauty of um, songs like this is that they're all three major chords. G major, C major, D major. All right. Um, before I get into the list of songs, something you can do if you want is just pause the video and sit there and do this. Or... Do that and see if your ear and your brain start to hum or sing a song that you know. Um, I'll bet it's probably going to happen for you because there are so many songs that were written this way. Um, okay, the, uh, I'm not going to go over exactly how to play all these songs. I'll give you little snippets of each one and then uh, it's up to you to uh, find the songs, learn how the chords go. There's only three chords to them so they can't get too complicated. And then, of course, learning the lyrics is uh, part of the, the uh, challenge as well. We're going to go chronologically, and we're going to start with Come On, Let's Go by Richie Valens, uh, Richie Valens of La Bamba fame. Um, well, come on, come on, come on. That's the whole song, basically. I don't even know the lyrics myself. Um, Richie Valens is also the one who did the second song on this list, and it is La Bamba. Both these uh, songs by Richie Valens are from 1958. So La Bamba... Whoa, hold on. So uh, you can see that um, the order of the chords changes around a little bit, but it's all G, C, and D. Uh, next song up is uh, Twist and Shout, made uh, famous first by the Isley Brothers and then, of course, by the Beatles. Well, shake it up, baby, now shake it up, baby. Twist and G, C, D, C, C, G, C, D. Come on and work it on out. There you go. Next song is um, the only one of these songs that was actually written in G. So you can go to YouTube and play along with this song in G. And it's called Here Comes My Baby, 
written by Cat Stevens uh, in 67, I think, and made famous by the Tremolos um, in 67. So it goes, um, In the midnight moonlight I'll be walking that long and lonely mile And every time I do I keep seeing this picture of you Here comes my baby Here she comes now Great song, um, three chords. Next up, uh, going into the, uh, staying in the 60s, the first cut is the deepest. This was a hit for Rod Stewart. Um, Cheryl Crow also did a version in the 90s, I think. I would have given you all of my but there's someone who's torn it apart And she's G, G, D, D, C, D Want to try to love again All right, uh, next one up is Bad Moon Rising by Creedence Clearwater Revival, 1969 I see a bad moon rising I see trouble on the way. That's it. G G D C G G G G D C G. Don't come around to C now D. Bound, whoops, G. I mean. Bound to take your life. D. There's a bad C on the rise. G. All right, uh, now we move up to the mid-70s and three songs by Fleetwood Mac, who really knew how to uh, nurse this whole 1-4-5 uh, thing. The first song is called Monday Morning. Monday morning, you sure look fine. Friday, I've got traveling on my mind. First you love me, and then you say so long. You know, I can't believe I'm going. Butchered the lyrics, but you can see where it's one, four, five. <clears throat> Next song is called Secondhand News uh, from 1977. Um, I know we got nothing to say. Well, all right, hold on. Starting that one again. I know. train wreck, but you get the idea. And the uh, third song from Fleetwood Mac, and the ninth song on our list uh, today, is uh, called I Don't Want to Know. I don't want to know the reason why love keeps walking Getting into the tenth song, a uh, classic rock classic, Chestnut, Badlands by Bruce Springsteen. I'm not going to get into singing it, but there you have it. And then our eleventh bonus song is Queen of Hearts by Juice Newton, uh, charted in uh, 82. Midnight, and I'm waiting on the 12.05, hoping it'll take me just a little further down the line. See, and I'm 
moonlight You're just a heartache in disguise See again And then it's DCG Playing with the Queen of Hearts And on and on. So there you have it. Uh, those are uh, 11 songs that are able to be played completely using only G, C, and D, the 1, 4, and 5 of uh, the G major scale. I hope you enjoyed this little look at uh, a little chunk of music theory and a, a good way to apply it to popular music. And I look forward to talking to you again in the future. Take care.